Great. Someone asked a question. How do you claim your end of service bonus in Qatar? Yes, there are three ways or four ways that you can use to claim for your end of service bonus. But let us first try to look at what is the end of service bonus itself. What do we understand by service bonus? Or what you call gratuity or what you call gratitude for anyone who wants to wait to say it out. Yes, end of service bonus according to the labor laws is just a token of appreciation that should be given to any worker that completes a specified period of time in a company. That should be what you call an, a continuous employment in that company. And what are we talking about? It should be a duration that is over, it should be one year and above. So if you are in that company and you've already completed one year and above, you are entitled to what you call the end of service bonus according to the labor law. Something also you need to understand, how do I claim that end of service bonus? Yes, there are three ways that we can look at that you can claim for your end of service bonus. First of all, let us try to look at changing one company to another. You are changing one employer to another employer. That is within what you call the local hire. One sponsor to another. How do you claim it? You, first of all, before you think of claiming that end of service bonus in that kind of situation, in situation one, look for the, get the company, change the sponsorship, they will have what you call approval in metrash. After approval in metrash, then you will get a new ID. Once you get a new ID of the current company that is recruiting you or the company that has taken over you, in metrash approved, you will get what you call a physical copy of that ID. Make a photocopy of that physical copy of that ID, then present back to the old company. Then they will pay you your end of service bonus and they will clear you clear all your benefits out of the system. That is the first situation that you can claim for your end of service bonus. Now let us try to look at situation two. When you are being terminated by the company, termination from the company, it may be the company is restructuring or it may be the company does not need your service anymore or it may be because of misbehavior or misconduct or breaching of what we call the contract laws. Then the company will say, okay, fine, we are terminating you. So when the company says it's terminating you, it will give you what you call a termination letter. Normally, most of the times, I always advise people, let that termination letter be stamped by that company. Let it bear the company stamp. Then after that, the company will prepare all your benefits, including your annual ticket, and exit permit in case you are required to have an exit permit to exit out of the country then they will pay you all what you call your benefits in any way or the other something else i need to let you in the same situation if you have a termination letter you can still look for another employer who can take over you who can take you how do you need get an offer letter add a termination letter then get the computer card of that current person who is willing to recruit you, then you can apply to the Ministry of Labor, then you can give it two to three weeks, then you check, you check they will be sending you the messages. That is another way that you can change. Then we are looking at people who are exiting out of the country, let's say for example you finish up that contract with that company. That is another situation for you, you can claim your end of service bonus. And in this situation, before prior to your completion of the car, the contract, it may be two years or three years, depending on what you agreed upon in the contract. You can send, you can write in what you call a resignation letter, which must be including what you call a notice period. Most of the time, what is very important, or why do you need what we call a notice period? It is to enable the employer to prepare more or to look for your replacement in that regard that is why in the law or in what you call the labor laws you must give what you call a notice period and you must serve what you call the notice period why do you serve the notice period as you the person is to enable this company to give you or pay up all your salary or your dues or all your benefits so the company will pay up all your benefits then after paying all your due benefits then it will give you uh, the ticket and the return, and definitely it will let you go out of the way. So those are the, uh, the only way that you can claim for your end of service. But what is very important, end of service bonus, it is for all workers in Qatar, including what you call the domestic workers, and also including what you call the maid, the house drivers. We are all, you are all 
entitled to what you call payment of gratitude or payment of your end of service bonus according to the law. Thank you so much for coming back to this channel and thank you so much for always uh, coming back to this channel. Remember, it's Max always giving you these updates. Thank you so much. See you again in the next video.